So welcome back to OWF11. Uh, you're on uh, Intellian TV. Uh, our guest now is uh, Andrew Aitken from uh, Alliance Group, a black duck company. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, so, uh, Andrew, could you tell us a bit more, like, uh, what, what's your involvement with uh, Alliance Group? Sure. So start? I'm the, the GM and founder of Alliance Group, and in December of last year, my firm was acquired by Black Duck. Um, I've been in open source for about 11 years. I think I was probably one of the first suits in open source uh, 11 years ago. And my firm is an open source business and strategy consulting firm. So we help companies figure out their business models, their technology, their community models around open source. So talking about business models and yes. actually open source. And so mm. we, we were talking earlier that open source has mm -hmm. prevailed beyond technology. Yes. So what's your stance on this? What do you think about open source success beyond technology? Well, I, I think it it is understood and has proven very successful in the technology sphere. But what a lot of people don't realize is it has had a much broader impact beyond just pure technology. Um, from an innovation perspective in, in the health sciences and the uh, medical communities, even the defense communities, transportation, it's, it's really had a much broader impact than people realize. So um, you, uh, would you relate innovation, more innovation to open source? I absolutely would. I absolutely would. There are some good examples within uh, open source, that I, I mean, within the technology industry that I'll touch on briefly. Um, for example, the, one of the largest open source projects ever is being launched right now in the United States, the, the U.S. V uh, Veterans Administration. It's the largest healthcare system in, in the world. And they're using open source to innovate and make their healthcare system much more current, because it was written in the 60s and 70s, and they're open sourcing the whole um, piece of software. It's really a very, very innovative project, but that's, that's a technology example beyond it, beyond technology. We're seeing open source practices and the open source ethos being used in, in again, the medical and health sciences in particular. Um, one of my favorite organizations is, is something called openprosthetics.org. And it's a U.S. veteran who um, actually lost a limb in the first Gulf War, and he actually designed prosthetics. And when he came back from the Gulf War, he launched an open source community to have other designers of prosthetics contribute their designs to make better prosthetics for veterans. And uh, what are the results? Oh, it's interesting. They've come up with new mechanics, new motors, new servos, different ways to actually build prosthetics. Uh, it, it's still an early early stage, but uh, I think they've had some real successes. And I mean, with with uh, with your company uh, in uh, in more specific focus, what are your successes in the area? Our successes, um, I uh, we've been blessed in having some wonderful clients over the last decade. And early on, we've worked with firms such as IBM and HP and Intel. Um, I'm particularly proud of the work that we did with Microsoft uh, starting about six years ago. I think we had uh, a real impact there. Uh, and then we've worked with a number of startups. I've, I have been an advisor to Sugar CRM, for example, since its founding. Um, but we've worked with, with dozens and dozens of open source startups. So I'm, I'm very proud of the work our firm has done. And what would you say about open source and innovation in startups versus large companies? It's really different. It's much, much easier for startups to innovate around open source. They have a far less legacy baggage and politics and structure and bureaucracy that they need to fight through. Um, one of my favorite current examples um, is AOL, who's actually trying to use open source to re-energize and almost restart the company. And they're making huge strides. I'm very impressed with what they've done. So you're saying that AOL actually is succeeding in it's they've, they've been at it for eight months, but they've said that um, they're having using open source principles. They're now communicating with their customers better. That's helped the quality of their product. They've reduced their product development cycle by 400%. Um, so they're having some, even in eight months, they've had some great successes. So to cap it all off, you would say that open source is definitely the way forward and it's ready to take on the world. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Different parts of the world will take longer to take on, but uh, I, it, it's certainly proven itself well beyond just technology. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Uh, we hope you're enjoying OWF. So I am. It's we'll a wonderful event. I'll, 
wonderful event. This is my third year and I look forward to being back. Well, so we'll catch up later. Thank you all. See you later. <laughs> Thank you.